Manchester United won back-to-back away games for the first time in a year, so how did they do it? Let's go to the whiteboard. We hadn't beaten Leicester in our previous five League and Cup encounters. This was mainly down to Leicester's midfield trio of Madison, Tielemans and Ndidi. Their interchanging of positions and the possession triangles they created was too much for United to deal with. But in this fixture, the organisation of United's forward press and the organisation behind that to tie up Leicester's midfield completely negated Leicester as an attacking force. Whichever centre-back had the ball, Rashford, would engage them and the outside forward on the other side would tuck in to pressure the other centre-back and the outside forward on the ball side of the pitch would pick up the full-back. Going to screenshots of the game, Rashford is engaging the ball, Alanga has come off his wing to take the other centre-back Evans and Sancho is pressing who would normally be Justin but he has swapped positions with Tielemans in this scenario and this pressure has made Ndidi go back to the keeper. Behind the forward press is where it got interesting. Madison, Tielemans and Sumare would rotate positions as Leicester's midfield tend to do, but invariably it would always result in a single pivot and two eights, or a single pivot with an eight and a ten. Fernandez would always tie up the single pivot, leaving Eriksson and McTominay to manage Madison and Tielemans, but there was a caveat to this. Dewsbury Hall was dropping into midfield from an outside forward position and Madison or Tielemans was taking up a position in the half space, potentially outnumbering United in midfield. But Dallo dropped back to make a back three and Malassia pushed up into midfield to engage whoever ended up in the half space, stopping United getting outnumbered in midfield and creating this 3-3-1-3 defensive formation that completely choked Leicester. Going to screenshots of the game, we can see Fernandez tying up the single pivot, in this case Sumare, and we can see how Tielemans has pulled out of the central area, but Malassia has stepped up from left back into this midfield position to ensure United don't get outnumbered. A second further along, and we can see United's 3-3-1-3 defensive formation and how difficult it made it for Leicester to play through the field. Leicester tried to play on the front foot pressing United high. But the fear Leicester's back four had for the pace of United's front line meant they played with a low defensive line, creating this huge chasm between Leicester's back line and midfield, and United's front line were able to find pockets of space in the final third. Going to screenshots of the game, we can see Leicester's aggressive press with six players in United's half. One simple ball from Dallo to Fernandez and we can see how far Leicester's backline has dropped off and the space this has given Fernandez, and this leads to Sancho's goal. The Devils' verdict is, Brendan Rodgers has tactically tied us up in knots in previous encounters, but up against a top coach, his boxer tricks were completely negated. United were a bit wasteful in the final third and they lacked ambition at times in the second half. But the team's increased work rate and tactical organisation is making it difficult for sides to create chances against us. Consequently, we don't need to score lots of goals to win a game. Let me know in the comments your thoughts on the game. Thank you for watching and please like, subscribe and share and I'll see you in the next video.